Thank you all for coming down today. Item 8C uh, is the final hearing on the assigning of the name of the Oklahoma City Boulevard. But it would also be a good time to uh, uh, discuss the merits of that idea, and I'll start that, and also get an update on the uh, contracts for the street itself. Uh, the contracts are not quite ready to go out, but very, very soon we expect the engineering contracts to be going out on the boulevard. And we are working with the uh, Department of Transportation um, on the construction of that boulevard. I want to go through the merits of the name first, and, and Jim can kind of give us a, an update on the boulevard itself. The idea of naming it Oklahoma City Boulevard, I, I, I think the merits fall into three broad categories. The first is the communications aspect. When you foresee I-40 on the relocated alignment, you're going to have people passing through just as they do today, and hopefully deciding whether or not to stop in Oklahoma City. And if they do decide to stop in Oklahoma City, I think from a communication standpoint, having a sign that says Oklahoma City Boulevard this way clearly indicates, and, and if not dictates, which street would be appropriate for people to exit the interstate off of. I think that's a very important communication aspect of this. And you go into cities occasionally and you'll see uh, this city, next five exits, or next six exits, and you'll wonder to yourself exactly which exit would be appropriate. We want people to go down this boulevard. We want people to, to, to relocate and, and take that exit and visit Oklahoma City. The second has to do with the branding. Um, Oklahoma City's brand has been damaged through the years by, by tragedies. The Oklahoma City bombing, the Oklahoma City tornado, has left this generation with a wounded brand. There has been an effort to try and improve the brand with, with uh, strategic decisions through the years. Um, the Oklahoma City Thunder, I think, probably the largest and most well-known choice of, of making sure that the city's name was in part of that um, official name of the team. Uh, the Oklahoma Red Hawks becoming the Oklahoma City Red Hawks. Um, and I think, in a sense, this is a naming opportunity for the city. This is an opportunity for naming rights of this very specific street, very important street, and to attach the city's name to something positive. I think this, city, this, this street is going to be a very special place, and the idea that the city can place its name on it, I think, is a wonderful opportunity that we shouldn't allow to go by. And the third is that, that I think it's inclusive. The citizens of this city have, have stepped up over the last 20 years. They are the reason that this city has progressed to the way it is and made all the advancements that we've made on a local and regional and national level. And I think naming it Oklahoma City, I think, pays tribute to the citizens of Oklahoma City and the, and the far-reaching ideas that, that they've had uh, to create the city that we have today. So with that, and uh, we can have discussion on the name if you'd like, but Jim, you want to give us an update on the, on the, on the boulevard? Sure. Uh the uh, DO, uh, ODOT put out a, a uh, request for proposals for engineers on the project, and uh, Dennis Powers is actually able to sit in on that process. An engineer has been selected. An engineering team has been selected. It's made up of uh, the local firms of MacArthur Engineering, Cobb Engineering, also the national firm of Parsons Brinkerhoff is involved in it, and specifically uh, one of their engineers assigned to it was the engineer who was involved in the ULI study that was here a couple of years ago that helped look at downtown. And then also part of the team is Jeff Speck, who, who is, is involved in, in walkability issues across the country. Uh, the contract's been negotiated. It's about to be executed within the next few days. And I don't know exactly what that means, but I think it's a very short time frame is when ODOT anticipates uh, to execute that contract, and then design will, will be done. Uh, ODOT has been very open to the process of having us involved in that design process as we go forward. ODOT's plans presently are uh, for deconstruction is a term they use, which I think is the same as demolition of the old I-40 uh, in 2013, followed by the reconstruction of the boulevard in 2014. Both of those projects are funded in their eight-year plan. Okay. Yes, Pat. Your Honor, thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm not an expert in branding or public relations or those sort of things, despite a very eloquent a lecture on branding I got the other day from Mayor. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I remain uh, impressed but unconvinced. The name to me is cumbersome, but too long. Uh, I've been in a lot of cities. I've never seen a street referred to by its whole name. Uh, the Eisenhower Expressway in Chicago comes to mind quickly. Uh, I think uh, something simpler, the uh, City Boulevard to me would make more sense. Boulevard. 
It is a small name, but it implies the exact same thing. This is where the city is. And I think as far as uh, rewarding our, uh, our constituents, I have a great deal of gratitude to our constituents for what they've allowed the city to do. But I'm not sure this is suitable recognition of efforts. At any rate, I think that uh, a little more study needed to go into this process before we just on all comments. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Speak. <coughs> Mayor, I, um, I support the, the idea of the name uh, Oklahoma City Boulevard. I think that's a good idea. I think it does uh, um, accomplish exactly, or is a step toward accomplishing exactly what you've said about it. Uh, I have a question concerning the ODOT portion of it, and it has to do with, um, uh, with there's been a lot of conversation about the width of the, um, of the boulevard about whether it should be six lanes or whether it should be four lanes. At what point do we weigh in and what point will, will we decide as a group what, which, what we think ought to happen there? Or, or will we decide? Will we wait to be told what's going to happen? Um, I, I think our planners and our engineers are in consensus that it should be narrower is better than four lanes is, is a better option. So I, I'm, that's what I've heard from a lot of people. And so I, I believe we're trying in the process of, of, of making that happen. Uh, I've been in conversations with uh, the Secretary Ridley, gosh, within the last couple of weeks, and he was very open and, and, and uh, reasonable in trying to accommodate that request. I read some information recently about what had to be done to make that happen, um, and it had to do with we had to get a change somewhere through the National Highway people of some yeah, and, and I've been asked a couple of questions on that within the last week. And I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know the process that okay. needs to be made at this point. Well, if that's what we're going to do, it seems like this, this is the time to get on with that because that's well, it is going to be very, very important to what 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 uh, the appearance, the impression is a better word, that people have. When, if we can get them off the interstate, it's going to be extremely important. To, and I think the four-lane idea is just a much better idea. I, the four line, I think, is great because it will improve the walkability of that boulevard. The further you can get the, the pedestrians away from the high speed traffic moving on the boulevard, with either wide sidewalks or additional parking, the better we will be. I agree with you. I have spent a lot of time with the engineering firm uh, discussing you know, the, the, the merits of a narrower street, the, the importance of a walkability. This, this cannot be a barrier. Uh, that we currently have. They fully understand that, are anxious to, to be a part of that, and uh, Jeff Speck's willingness to, to come in and, and help serve us once again and, and to help create that pedestrian-friendly atmosphere. And we're only going to get one time to engineer this, this boulevard correctly. It's going to be very important that we do it as well as we can. And, and you know, when, when we have this discussion amongst ourselves, amongst civic leaders, or amongst ODOT or the, the, the engineers, everyone's on board. I mean, it's, it's, there's really not anyone to, to, to have a discussion on the counter side. I mean, we fully expect this street to be narrower rather than wider. We expect it to be pedestrian friendly and not the, the barrier that the current I-40 bridge has, has become. Yes, Gary? Well, a question and then a comment. Jim, did you say that, the, that it is funded? Currently, and it, it is presently funded in the eight-year plan. Yes, sir. And it wasn't affected by the the happenings at the legislature this year, where the reduced ODOT's money, as the, far as you know. The eight-year plan has not been changed. <coughs> okay. Okay. Larry, on the no, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Gary. On the naming, um, I'm supportive of Oklahoma City, but I'm but I'm also drawn back to um, something that happened when I was the fire chief. We decided on our aerial trucks that we would start putting the name up on the, the length of the aerial. Put a, a sign up there and, and say Oklahoma City. But one of the manufacturers decided that they would just abbreviate and put OKLA, O-K-L-A period city. And you wouldn't believe the phone calls I got about this is not Oklahoma City. And uh, it's Oklahoma City. And, and of course we've changed the sign and have since made them all say Oklahoma City. But in all seriousness, it draws the question of staying on top of people that will want to abbreviate it Oklahoma, mm -hmm. Oklahoma City Boulevard, Oklahoma City BLVD, or on maps. Right. Or During the NBA on. broadcast, you may have heard it Oak City. You know, <coughs> some national commentators right. were, were so that. I, I think Oklahoma, I like the, your, I agree with your comments about the branding and what it says and, and the citizens and everything, but I would just caution that um, we stay on top of things and don't let it become uh, Oklahoma 
Boulevard or Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Boulevard or something, that, because it does, as Pat says, it gets a little wieldy sometimes when you're trying to spell things out. Right. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to just echo Gary's comments. One of my pet peeves is the Oklahoma City National Memorial, and we have signs all over town that say Oklahoma City N-A-T-L Memorial. It makes me crazy, and we really are going to have to pay attention because people will default to being shorter or quicker or easier. So that's a very good point, Gary. Okay. David? <coughs> Larry. Sorry, Larry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Larry. Okay. Larry, then Dave. Uh, just a couple of comments. I'm in favor of the Oklahoma City Boulevard and think we ought to go forward with the naming of it. That uh, There are some uh, new sign requirements that are coming out, you may have noticed, which requires the All Street signs uh, to fulfill. And I think Dennis probably is around here. He could speak to it if you want to, which is going to require smaller lettering on All Street signs. So you might as well get ready for that. Uh, with respect to the funding, Jim, in the article in the newspaper, there was a little caveat in there that said it is in the eight-year plan, but there is no guarantee. This is a paraphrase now. There's no guarantee that the funding will stay available. It is dependent on what happens at other levels, like the national level as far as budget is concerned. Is that not true? So we, it's the best intentions of all concerned, but uh, if something happens with the funding down the road, it has to be delayed. I think to be forewarned is to be forearmed on that. That's, po that, that's possible. The best I can tell you that it, it, as we sit here today, it is funded in the eight-year plan. That could, yeah. And the communication you almost always get from the Department of Transportation is we must be diligent in in staying on top of our federal legislation to continue that funding. And so if they're if they're leaning on the conservative to side, that doesn't surprise me that they want us to c continue to to push for highway appropriatement. Yes. Anybody else? Yes. David? <clears throat> Mayor, I, I like your idea as far as uh, people traveling through Oklahoma City to see the, the name Oklahoma City Boulevard. Um, I think that's a good idea and, and would be helpful to have or suggest that the people pull off I-40 and travel along this boulevard. Uh, a comment that Pete made earlier about South Oklahoma City and the sense of community, I do agree with that. I think it's very strong and, and uh, anyone or most people that live in South Oklahoma City kind of s have a sense of, of that community and, and we can call it Capitol Hill. And when I use the term Capitol Hill, it's very broad in, in my uh, understanding of what that's included. But at the same time, the past few months, going all the way back to the elections, you know, there's a sense from Ward 5 that they want to ensure that they're a part of the city and, 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 and that it's inclusive. They want to be considered a citizen of Oklahoma City, and I think there's a, a, a great sense of pride in Oklahoma City currently, and I think there's a this would be well received, uh, at least in Ward 5, to see the name uh, Oklahoma City Boulevard. And Pat, uh, you know, I, I'm not denying your concern as far as the length of the name and I'm sure a lot of the locals will eventually refer to it as City Boulevard or something along those lines. But I think, especially from people outside of the city, to see that name uh, on the highway, I, I think that's certainly a plus for the city, and I, I uh, would support that name. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Pete, how about a motion? Second. All right. Cast your votes. And the name change is approved 8 to 1. Thank you. On to item 8D, this is a public hearing. It would create an assessment district.